Do a PRP or stem cell therapy injections wear off? This is a really difficult question to answer in part because there's still so much about PRP and stem cell therapy in terms of anti-inflammatory or inflammation modulation and immune system modulation that we just still don't understand. However, in the big picture, generally what I tell patients is that no, PRP and stem cell therapy does not wear off. However, that does not mean that you're going to be pain free in that region forever. And let me explain what I mean by that. And I'm gonna explain by actually telling a little bit of a story and I'm gonna tell the story of my back pain. So for those of you who don't know, I herniated two discs about 10 years ago. I then uh, started to suffer from chronic pain. It went almost for two years before I saw any real significant relief. And then I had my first PRP injection. My first PRP injection gave me 100% pain relief within three months. And then I was back in the gym. I was squatting, exercising, doing all those things. And then about four to five months after that, I re-injured my back. So I was in the gym, I did something and I re-injured it. So I went back, got more uh, PRP. I also did a little bit of ozone and some prolotherapy and stuff. And within three months, I was then almost 100% pain-free, back in the gym, all that stuff. Then was in another car accident and that aggravated my back again. So then I kind of went through, you know, let's say six, seven months or so, just kind of working through that, ended up getting another treatment, which that one didn't do as well. And then I um, ended up having a bone marrow procedure where we treated my facets, we treated SI, we treated the lumbar ligament, and uh, we did a peridiscal injection. At that time, we weren't doing any intradiscal injections, so we did a peridiscal injection. We injected the bone marrow around the two discs that had issues. And from there, I went on to have four and a half years of 95% relief. And there would be a few days here and there over the course of you know every few months where it'd be a little achy, but I had no, nothing down the legs. I had nothing that stopped me from exercising. I was good for four and a half years. And then I was in the gym and I re-injured it. And then from there, I went on about a year of just trying to do some management with some, some PRP epidurals and that type of stuff. And eventually end up having an intradiscal injection seven months ago, which I am now, I would probably say 95% better since then back in the gym and doing all those things that I want to do. I get the occasional stuff down the leg a little bit, some achiness, but I still say I'm about 95% better. So did the injections wear off in those scenarios? I would argue no. What happened was I had new injuries. Now here's the thing about injuries is when you get an injury, when you have tissue damage, when that repairs, when your body heals that, it is never perfect. There is always scar tissue that forms. There is always going to be changes in the collagen structure such that it is not the same. And the stress patterns that go through the area are now gonna be different. The other thing is that that injury generally happens in that area because it's the weak link in the chain. And so we, have, we all have weak links. By definition, something has to be the weakest link, but we all have weak links in our myofascial chains such that those areas take more load and are under more strain and more stress. And so with that, they're going to deteriorate faster. Now that does not mean that it's going to be painful it just means that it's structurally, it's gonna deteriorate faster. Whether that's arthritis, whether that's tendinopathy, whether that's chronic ligament sprains, whatever it is. So when we then have situations where we've done PRP or stem cell therapy, and at some time point later, years later, pain comes back, it is not, in my opinion, because those injections are wearing off, it is because there is continued degeneration or damage in that area which your brain is seeing and and recognizing as painful and so we have you know there's literature now both published and also when you start looking at some of the the registries which we have been using a lot more lately where patients are seeing two three five ten years of pain relief from these types of injections and yes that's not everybody yes some people it comes back and that type of stuff but it's not like a steroid injection where the effect of the injectate wears off, where with a steroid injection, the effect of the suppression of inflammation eventually wears off. 
that does not really appear to happen with our PRP and our stem cell therapy. So I hope that helps uh, some people in your pursuit of getting more knowledge in this space so you can make better informed decisions.